Welcome guys to another little installment of my helpful tips for FC members this time. We got a few things and here we go. When you start you can actually get a house in a ward. Yes, there are neighborhoods housing is savage and it's terrible. But when you're an FC member you have a few bonuses in your FC that you should take advantage of. As we walk in, you see the garden. They can grow onions that you need for your chocobos to level, and different size plots get more gardens. They can also grow minions. Next over here, we have stables. The stables you're used to change the color on your animals, and you can level them up. If you're in an FC, help each other out, because other people can go feed them for you, and they gain experience based on their level. Um, when you see some of the orange numbers, that actually means the chocobo is full and you have to take it out in the world, kill at least one thing, and it will gain a level. You can also change their colors in there. So, stable your own chocobo, you see it just switched to the blue one, that's my personal chocobo. And now I have train, feed, change name, and fetch to take him back out. If you click on details, that just shows his basic stuff. Feed, you actually need the different fruits to change his color in your inventory but as you saw mine is royal blue that's his color uh, anything more than that google it you can find color changers and find out what fruits you need exactly in your menu you have the companion that shows you all his skills actions bar names that you can throw on you also have the chocobo saddlebag extra storage yeah take advantage of it Next thing we notice is these target dummies. They are good for practicing your rotations and, you know, throwing out random warrior macros to change your class. But, um, yeah, no. Often, when people have new classes, you'll get two to five people in our FC yard practicing on the different target dummies because it gives you a chance to try out rotations, see what works best for you. When you're done with the targeting dummy, instead of running far away like some people have done forever, all you do on PlayStation is you press square. On PC, you just select it from the top, reset anonymity. Last thing out front is that mailbox. You can mail stuff to friends and have friends mail stuff to you. With it here, guess what? You don't have to go to a city. Coming into our FC house, it's still under construction we just moved here just got it uh, most FC's will have one or two tabs open to everyone our first tab is a lot of food items potions that are free the greens you need to bring your chocobo out as a battle buddy in the open world more roots so anyone can grab some roots and feed all the chocobos for everyone our second tab is clothing items and minions that folks can use Running upstairs, you'll see we have out some crafting benches and NPCs. All these NPCs, like the Mender, will repair your armor. The other guys, you can buy stuff from them. And then over here, you see like we have this Alchemist. If I were on my Alchemist, it would give me a buff to use while I was crafting alchemy. There's also indoor flower plants that you could put a few small plants and certain things in. Lastly is this other one down here. They sell all all that stuff that you just saw on the screen. Junk mongers will also sell dye. So fashion we dye for the win. We have another secret room over here that is actually many rooms. This is the company workshop. You build ships, you upgrade your ships, send them out on voyages, you can earn credits, housing skins, you can even earn the zoo mount when you send them to the right place. Getting these materials is not easy. Sometimes you can help your FC get the materials and it's a great, wonderful, terrific thing to upgrade your ships and send them out on different voyages. Now that door actually goes to private chambers also. Private chambers, FC members can buy your own personal room for 100,000 under the cost of an apartment. A bunch of people you know go back and forth saying that these personal rooms are bigger than apartments by like 10 
10 feet one way and 5 feet the other. But really and truly, your housing rooms are limited by your imagination. We just had a Halloween event, Hallow's Eve, All Saints event. So a few people have their rooms decorated for Halloween and terror. In my opinion, your Brett Takin's room was one of the most terrifying. That's just, that's crazy. This was another room, like I said, it was a fun little spooky event. Some went the way of scary things, others went the way of fun things. But your rooms are limited by your imagination. Some things, if you can think of it, someone will help you figure out a way to get it done. It's just all in good fun. This is the room. My friend Yona is brainstorming her new redecoration since the event's done. It's all what you can imagine. Like, there's so much you can fit in these rooms you don't even know. Alright, let's head back to the main FC content. When you open your menu, go to Free Company. Over here, you can look at actions. Actions are buffs that your FC gives. Speed of battle is 10% combat XP, reduced rates is cheaper teleportation, then you have jackpot which is more MGP and increased gathering can also be another one. You wanted to use jackpot on like Saturdays and if you set up regular days for the other buffs it can help everyone a lot. Over here you can view your FC mates levels and you can also check short messages which people can put in notes if they have different things available uh, thanks guys for watching thanks for having a little fun and hanging out I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope to see you guys hear you guys in the future and even if not I hope you're enjoying the world because this game is great and I've been loving every second that I came back to it